Good morning, beautiful souls. Happy Friday. It's Tim in the woods for the last time this year. So this is duh, 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 week 52, which feels and sounds to me personally quite strange because it doesn't seem that long ago that I was sat down in my little nest in my garden announcing week one and thinking how long it was going to be to the end of the year and here we are. So I'm going to keep it relatively simple this morning because there's a few things that I want to kind of look at and say and also maybe kind of like you know sprinkle in a few hints as to what form this is all going to take next year. I think one really nice way to kind of summarise kind of episode 52 would be to just begin with a bit of gratitude and um, even in the <clears throat> kind of toughest and fastest moving kind of years it's difficult sometimes to sit back and take stock and have a look at how far we've all come and the things that we've achieved and I've said it in several lives workshops that I've run and cooperated in recently I've never experienced a year like this <laughs> Now we've all had kind of tumultuous, exciting, action-packed, intense and maybe even in some cases I don't think we can any ever say that this has been a dreary ride has it? That we've kind of been tapping our toes and our fingers and going oh come on universe we need some action. I think we had a little bit of that in 2019 when we'd been receiving continuous energies from the cosmos, incessant karmic clearances, upgrades and light downloads and heart openings and <laughs> special portals and gateways opening in the heavens and by Lionsgate 2019 I was definitely beginning to feel, I don't think the word irritated is a good description, but I was definitely feeling impatient. I was really wondering when and where we'd all start to see some tangible results for all of the effort and the work that we put in. And I'll never forget driving up to Diana Cooper's when she lived in Horsham to run the Zoom with her. Lionsgate Zoom, or it was in August, beginning of August actually. And being shown very clearly by Merlin, <coughs> the storm lair, being put up around the planet. And he was just like, well, got three years coming up of intensive clearance of changes. And I can can just remember thinking oh god yeah well we've heard all this before haven't we we've heard about changes coming and the world is going to be different and light workers are all going to be activated and then bang <laughs> shortly after the December solstice in 2019 we moved into 2020 and I think all of us got precisely what we'd ordered from the cosmic menu but maybe not in the way that we'd actually believed it was going to arrive so I think we've all now become a little bit older and wiser with regards to how this is all occurring and how universal cosmic planetary and the ascension changes are implemented they have to be done in a way that is often very uncomfortable eye-opening surprising 
I mean, let's face it, if we were all expecting it, if we all knew what was coming, it would not have the effect on those that are, are most needing that effect because it would just be another everyday run of a mill life on planet Earth and it need, everything needed to be jarring. What we've experienced has been very challenging. It's been very jarring. So, as we walk through <coughs> this current gateway, the Solstice Gateway, again, my wonderful friend David Estery and I did our December Solstice workshop and saw another very powerful structure being built around the planet. But this wasn't so much too clear detrius. It was to solidify the energies that we've worked hard for, that we've put in place. And on that point, I just want to say thank you to every single one of you for A, showing up this year <laughs> you know it's 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 one thing talking about the work it's another thing doing the work actually sitting down or standing up or traveling or anchoring or deciding to take on <clears throat> specific energetic processes it all sounds like fun and laughter and rainbows and fluffy light worker clouds when when we talk about it but when it comes down to it the work is tough so thank you every single one of you that's tuning in whether you're you've been following me in this channel for a while now or whether you're new to the to the carnival to the party and you're just stepping up and stepping in thank you Thank you for being here at this time on this planet, for taking this role on, for stepping up in whatever way that you are at the moment, whether it is comfortable, whether it's uncomfortable, whether you've got an idea of what you are supposed to be doing here or whether you are just listening to this and you haven't got a bloody clue. <laughs> it's, it's from my heart to yours, gratitude. Gratitude and congratulations for, for actually seeing this from the perspective that it's needed to be seen from and also I'd just like to say to all of the souls that I have cooperated with this year and I'm not going to go through a big huge list because I have done many cooperations with many beautiful people but if you're listening you'll know who you are um, my eternal gratitude for a showing up choosing to work with me to put the hours to put the energy in for sometimes <laughs> having to organize me <clears throat> get me flowing in the correct direction and not scattered and ungrounded that's uh, that's something that i've honored and acknowledged very much this year as well as the physical process so every year that we spend on this planet or every day or every month or every week or every minute I feel that we should be checking in with ourselves and just saying well done. Well done for getting this far, um, for actually achieving this year what could only be described as the, the, the golden point of no return. The peak of everything that we've worked towards was occurring or has occurred on the 22nd of October with the monadic merge, with the anchoring. That, that occurred in Portugal <clears throat> and not just Portugal but all around the world that was an absolute feat of, of light worker ingenuity and 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 cooperation and organization everything that we need to be doing together on the pathway it really showed me that that is where we are going and how how you know, we have the power to make these changes and also not just that, but the incredible amount of backup that we have in the heavens. Never before, I'm going to continue walking now, never before have I seen so many souls heading to our planet to assist with this ascension process. There are countless, I'm not going to use numbers like millions or billions, but just almost an infinite number 
a very high frequency angels, benign extraterrestrials, all of these beings of light, unicorns, dragons, ascended masters. And I've said this before, but a lot of them you might not be familiar with, you might not have seen before. They, they might be approaching you and they have a different energy or a different frequency or a different colour. And this is because, A, they've been called to action, they've been attracted to Earth because Earth has now reached a point of the ascension process where there's no going back, there's no deviating, there's no, oh, well, maybe we could go off on this timeline or maybe we could go off on that timeline. It's prefixed now. And whatever work is done will simply either speed the process up or help it upon its way. Of course, we're going to see resistance. I mean, as we're heading into 2024, we're probably all wondering a little bit. Well, it's all well and good talking about the lovely energies and the light, but what about the 3D matrix? What about all of the, the tricks and the traps and the entrapments that, that many of us are kind of experiencing that pressure to be controlled by those that do not have our best interests at heart. And that's something also which I am very guided to look into because at some point we have to acknowledge taking responsibility for ourselves. And when we take responsibility for ourselves, we remove the power that the autocratic systems have previously held upon us. And we've all been part of the matrix. Okay, you were born into the system, you were born into the school. <clears throat> what is feeling quite overwhelming for many people at the moment is stepping out of the matrix removing from the system. I mean, if you ask yourself the practical and logical questions, well, how do I completely unplug from a system and continue to survive? Well, all around the world, locally and within kind of all of the different countries, groups are coming together on a vibration of sovereignty to create new supportive heart-centered structures it's our responsibility to set our energy to become part of these to do our part and this is also something it's um something i will be investigating i will not be kind of announcing or talking about it until i am read and learned about it but we all should be thinking at some point about how we are going to be setting up our own structures that are removed from the system. So this is the way the energy is going. This is what we are being prompted to do. And again, if we're thinking and wondering about how we are going to support ourselves, how the abundance is going to be present to allow us to do this, it's time to start again looking within at the manifestation process which is based pretty much solely on self-love, gratitude, trust, positive expectations from the universe but also positive forward moving constructive action on both an individual and a collective level. Next year is going to be very interesting on many fronts because so many people have woken up now and everybody needs answers or guidance. There are a lot of people out there at the moment that aren't quite ready or aren't quite confident enough to be sourcing their own information, their own answers, their own protocols so this is where say you and I who've maybe been doing this for a bit longer still have a legitimate function in guiding and teaching and being there 
and also to look at at quite a high level what the orders or structures of future authority are going to be looking like because it's also a time where we have to be wary of kind of not false lights as such but imposters appearing people that say the right things or are saying that they're going to provide solutions and answers for everything ultimately the solutions for the future come from each and every one of us on a united collective front so again gratitude from my heart to every single one of you for being here at this time this is not just a spiritual process anymore it's a practical every everything that you do on a daily basis is a spiritual practice now not just when you can separate yourself from the kids or take some time out you know everything you do every every step that you take during the day whether it's around the supermarket whether you are doing something with other people it's all a spiritual practice every single part of the day so it's turned into a very grounded very every, almost like an everyday process that each and every one of us are interacting with no longer do we just save these spiritual moments for Saturdays and Sundays when we're gathered collectively it has to be every waking minute of the day that we are focused on this morning so on a higher level where are we going in the next 12 months do you have a sense or a feeling or an idea what you want to be doing because if you haven't now might be a time to start not necessarily writing it down but focusing a lot on what it is that you wish to achieve i know there's kind of a little bit of a a little bit of a stigma with new years usually oh yeah and some people say that every day is new year's day you know you should be starting afresh every time you wake up and you put your feet on the floor and that's very true but there's also a powerful collective energy that begins that ignites that kicks off every time the calendar or the clock resets and it's the first of january and i can remember writing some or yeah i actually wrote them down some powerful expectations that i had for the year in 2020 as a, as it turned towards midnight on new year's eve in 2019 <laughs> and boy did it boy did 2020 deliver so the flow of energy that's moving through us at the moment begin to use that to really visualize how you wish to see your world now whether it is more community that you need whether it's an actual manifestation of your soul pathway these these are important things one of the most distracting aspects of our pathway at the moment is not knowing where we're going so ask if you can for some universal guidance on that and move into your heart if the answers aren't being presented to you and very very quickly you'll be shown where you are supposed to be where you're going what you're doing who you're supposed to be doing it with and more importantly if there are any blockages in the way for that getting them cleared so that you can move freely and effectively through your ascension pathway 
It's going to take a few minutes to just have a look at my surroundings. Last woodland update of the year. Although next year there's going to be more, <laughs> I'm sure of it. But they will be taking a different format. There's going to be things that I'm mixing in that haven't been this year. So to conclude, I've got a lovely event coming up on the 2nd of January in Romsey, hosted by Jackie White. It's live in person, but it's also being live streamed. So if you can't make it there in person, I will be speaking live on the 2nd of January. And the name of the talk is Fresh Out the Traps, because that's what we will be. <laughs> a lot of people are still like, oh God, 2nd of January feeling a little bit delicate still need a little bit more time but if you can be there it will be a fabulous evening and on the 8th I'm going to be working with the lovely Alice Heath we've got an online an online event a zoom event beginning at 7 p.m UK time that is going to be working with Cosmic Abundance and your Royal Codex, which is an interesting subject at the moment because it also kind of covers and ties in with the abundance aspect that I was just referring to. And then on the 11th, I'm going to be joined by Paul Debris Carey. And we're going to be looking at the power of the Sphinx. <laughs> Then a bit later in the month, I am off to Finland for the Nordic Winter Workshop with Lavisa Alvtorn and Anna Indra Larsen. So if you're heading to that, I'm really looking forward to seeing you there. So yeah, busy January, fresh out the traps, beginning on the 2nd. So again, just from my heart to yours, thank you. Thank you for being here with me this year in the woods i love doing this so it's never any hardship i will be continuing to do this in whatever form is presented to me whatever i'm guided to do next year so sending you all so much love have a beautiful end to december and i'll see you on the other side bye for now <laughs>